What's up guys, it's Matters and we're going to be starting a new series for Black Ops 3 Zombies called What If and in this episode we're going to go over um, what if there was a dragon, a secret boss dragon within the Black Ops 3 Zombies map Der Eisendrock. Now a lot of this will be fueled by you guys but I will have my own ideas as well and basically the consensus of this video will be basically you guys are going to comment below so you can do this right now if you want, you're going to be com you're going to comment below your sort of what if questions or your what what if statements and then I will use them in the video I will shout you out and then we will talk about them and talk about the possibilities of the situation the, so this could be really for anything it could be something you want me to try within the game like oh what if perkaholic gave you an extra quick revive or something or what if um, there was a dragon boss within drives and rock you know what, what would happen if that was the case where would it be and that's sort of gonna be this episode that's just you know example like what if anything so any ideas you have for any possible maps, like what if DLC4 um, was located in Egypt, and we'll talk about that. That's basically the whole scenario and consensus of this actual series. It can go from theories to stuff we have within the map now, just everything. I want to open it up to everything, and this episode, we're going to be talking about a secret dragon boss. Now, most of the time, well, again, leave your what if stuff in the comments below, and I will definitely use them if they're good enough in the next couple of videos, next couple of episodes, and then you'll be shout out, obviously, it's gonna be a cool little thing here, um, but again, it's not always gonna be like this, because I actually have some sort of images, some background information, sometimes we could just do what if episodes where it's just like, okay, you know what, what if this happens, and we'll just straight talk about it straight from, the, straight from the head, and we'll just say, okay, you know what, let's think about this, but this one, we're gonna be going off of an actual image of something found in theater mode for the Dries and Dark boss battle that reveals something pretty cool. It's a little dragon egg easter egg. So if you want to see, um, you know, the images on screen now, there are dragon eggs within the Dries and Dark boss battle. If you go into this weird theater mode glitch that lights up the whole boss battle towards the end of the Dries and Dark easter egg, you can see scattered around the floor different dragon eggs all over the place. Now, we've talked about this before. Obviously, you have, like, the dragon heads within Dreisendrock, and you have sort of that dragon lore within that map, but now they're actually, like, dragon eggs within the actual boss battle. Now, that leads me to believe one of two things. Well, actually, there's a couple things. Um, the dragons on the wall, those aren't necessarily, like, true dragons. They're almost just, like, possessed beings on the wall and then they become stone and then they die it's not like they were really free so maybe those dragon eggs could actually be hatched and become real dragons or actual real beings within the map now there's actually something really cool um, we've talked about dragons before the map actually came out. When Horizon Drop was first announced back in December, we were like, oh my god, what if there's a dragon within this map? What if we have, like, crazy secret dragons all over the place? Um, and that's still a cool possibility. Um, we'll sort of talk about it. It's not, it doesn't really matter if it's part of an E-Strike or not, because if anything, I think the dragon should have, part, should have been a part of the actual boss battle, if anything. But there's a bit of sort of, like, folklore within the Austrian sort of, like, um, I guess history and mythology and stuff where there was this crazy like dragon slayer um, That actually fought a lot of these dragons within the Austrian sort of I guess timeline or obviously it's all Mythological it's not I'm, I'm not saying it's fake, but it's sort of their mythology of their land and it's actually called Der um, Drakentorter, uh, Der, Dr Der Drakentorter, I'm pretty sure. And I I'm pretty sure that translates to the Dragon Slayer or the Dragon um, and within German, obviously. And a lot of this was like, oh, you know, around the steep and narrow mountain valleys, you had this crazy dragon like haunting the area. And then you had these Dragon Slayers trying to fight them. And it's sort of like the typical mythological battle between the people, the Dragon Slayers, these fierce like enemies and stuff. Um, or not, I guess enemies of the dragon, really, but I guess they were helping the people. And then yeah, I got, you have the dragons, obviously, or the single dragon haunting and, I guess, you know, having full control of this area. And then they're fighting and all that crazy stuff. And it would have made a lot of sense for Jorazendrak anyway because of the fact that it is an Austrian castle. And the castle's history involves a lot of crazy mythological stuff within history. And it was also a really, like, prime fighting point for a lot of the old and old wars, um, even past, there's been wars for World War II there, but even past that, like, really, really old wars, around the time in, I guess, the Dark Ages, where dragons were sort of prevalent within that culture. Um, so it would have made a lot of sense for them to actually take advantage
advantage of that, full advantage of that, especially with the Austrian culture of dragons. And then you have this little hint within the boss battle of the image that you saw before with those dragon eggs, um, possibly hinting at, I guess, some sort of dragon, um, I guess, Easter egg feel within that map because... Obviously, they're not adding anything else within the map. They, they've went through the code. There's something else that they're going to add. And again, this is what if series, and we're just talking about what if this were the case. But what if, okay, this is sort of like the ending off thing here. Um, obviously, I talked about a lot of the, the dragon history of the Austrian culture and all, all that crazy stuff. But what if those dragon eggs were actually like activatable and you can actually like use them for something within the map or you activated them and then they came to life and they actually spawned dragons that you have to fight for the end of the easter egg again it would make sense it would fit perfectly with the location with the austrian dragons i'll leave a link to the actual stuff in the description if you want to check those out as well um and it would make sense with a lot of the actual map in general and it would be a lot cooler as well and that's definitely something we would want you know a cooler thing um but again the boss battle was pretty cool but the fact that there are dragon eggs there just gives us like this like possibility and just like oh like what if they would have done that that would have been so sick um so yeah that's basically that um bunch of dragon different stuff i would say again more towards the easter egg i was going to talk about it being like a boss battle instead of the panzer um but i think it would fit a lot better with the easter egg especially within the boss battle and obviously the dragon eggs being present within the boss battle so that'd be pretty cool and yeah tell me guys what you think about this and i will see you guys later goodbye